ceremony. As the executive director here at the Playhouse, I couldn't tell, I just can't even express how very proud I am. This is probably my proudest day, not only as executive director, but maybe one of the best in my life. I'm so excited for the school. I am. I'm so excited for this honor. I'm not taking a whole long time to talk as we have a lot of people speaking. And I just want to say that each and every one of you, the artists that, that inhabit this building and this remarkable institution, and the strong commitment you have to the work that goes on here is what's being honored today, and our relationship with Mr. Sanford Meisner. The fact that the city is recognizing that, and we have our wonderful councilman, Mr. Ben Kalos, here to, to make it formal. our board member, Mr. Tom Stewart. Tom Stewart's going to speak for a moment, and many of you know Tom as the voice of WNET and Channel 13 here in New York, but he's also the voice of the Neighborhood Playhouse and a longtime board member. staff, fellow board members, alumni, friends of the school, representatives of the 17th precinct are with us, so I'm feeling very safe. <laughs> it's a great honor for me to be with you uh, for this historic moment in the life of the Neighborhood Playhouse School and the Theater. Just briefly, uh, my history at the Playhouse dates back to the late 60s and early 70s when I was a student, and uh, then the past few years have been a member of the board. And Always, I just want to take a moment to acknowledge what a thrill it is to actually be standing on the stage of the Rita Morgenthau Theater. It's just wonderful. Uh, but today, we are celebrating the school's 90-year history and the enduring legacy of Mr. Sanford Meiser. And right now, I'd like to welcome our very special guest of honor, City Council Member of the 5th District, Mr. Ben Kalos. Ben. Councilmember uh, Keith Powers, and I am so grateful to be here to celebrate the great contributions of Sanford Meisner. I'd like to first start by thanking the Executive Director of the Neighborhood Playhouse, uh, Ms. Pamela muller Kerman, and the Board of Directors. I'd also like to thank uh, the person who may have one of the hardest jobs, Emelina Defoe, the Director of Development. She does the fundraising, and I want to thank her for The theater is a beautiful art form that has helped make New York City be, be known for its culture. People come from all over the world to just to see our city's theater. Organizations like the Neighborhood Playhouse School, of the theater and individuals like the legendary acting teacher Sanford Meiser have a lot to do with that. It's a true honor and distinct pleasure to be able to officially recognize the many contributions of this organization and Mr. Meiser with a proclamation from the city of New York. I brought it. <laughs> fine print, but I'll, I'll do a quick reading for you. Ben Kalos, Council Member of the 5th District, is proud to honor the Neighborhood Playhouse School of Theater for its 90 years of outstanding work <laughs> and the profound contributions of Sanford Meisner to the Playhouse. And whereas established in 1928, 
The Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater is a full-time acting conservatory whose mission is to provide a multi-dimensional practical education of the dramatic arts to young theater students while furthering the unique type of training developed over the years at the Playhouse and whereas a seminal part of New York City theater, the theater's approach focuses on the artistic growth of the actor through technical training in acting, movement, speech, and voice. And the Playhouse offers acting students a uniquely rich tradition of excellence in actor training coupled with the practical skills for building a career. The Neighborhood Playhouse also remains the only conservatory where the acting faculty has been trained by Mr. Sanford Meisner. And whereas, in 1935, we're going to be here a while. <laughs> in 1935, Mr. Meisner, one of the founding members of the group theater, along with Stella Adler, Bobby Lewis, Harold Thurman, Lee Strasberg, joined the faculty of the Neighborhood Playhouse. Over the years, he developed and refined what is now known as the Meisner Technique, a step-by-step -step procedure of self-investigation for actors that is now globally recognized and among the foremost of modern acting techniques. And, whereas, a little bit further, in 1940. <laughs> in 1940, Mr. Sanford Meisner became head of the acting program, a cornerstone of his teaching. He believed that the study of an actor's craft was rooted in acquiring a solid organic acting technique, and that the learning process occurs not in a theoretical abstract manner, but in the practical give and take of the classroom. And whereas, Mr. Sanford Meisner retired in 1990 and served as director emeritus of the acting department until his death, in 1997. Today his legacy lives on in the continuation of this training which is being taught to incoming students each year in the Neighborhood Playhouse's two-year program and whereas the Neighborhood Playhouse serves the New York City community at large and especially the theater community in Manhattan serving as a cultural resource while continuing the work of Mr. Meisner. Now therefore be it known that Ben Kalos, council member of the 5th District, proudly honors the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater and Sanford Meisner.
to the world of actor training throughout its 90-year history. The proclamation also pays tribute to the creative work of Sanford Meisner, and I'm sure that if he were here today, he would be very pleased to be honored in such a way by the city of his birth for the work of his life. Sanford Meisner ran the acting department here for over 50 years. He was a master acting teacher, definite in his knowledge and fierce in his pursuit of good acting. I have many memories of him, both in class and personally, so when Pam asked me to speak about him, I wasn't quite sure what to say. And then I recalled a line from the preface to his book on acting. In it, Meisner is addressing the drama inherent in the acting classroom, which he wrote is the place where they, the students, struggle to learn what I, the teacher, struggle to teach. I remembered a very specific class from the latter half of my second year. We were working on an interpretive exercise using Edgar Lee Masters' classic text, Spoon River Anthology. Now, for anyone who attended the Neighborhood Playhouse during the time of Sanford Meisner, the work on the Spoon Rivers was a legendary series of classes. He thrived in those sessions, not only teaching us the skills of interpretation, but using those classes to impart to us everything else he possibly could about the craft and art of acting, and we loved it. In Spoon River, the citizens of a fictional town named Spoon River look back on their lives and reveal their innermost and essential selves. Meisner had used these pieces for years to teach his students interpretation, because all of the elements necessary to play a part are dealt with in the work. One day, near the end of our class, he called on my fellow student Margaret to work. They had broken the piece down in the previous class, and she had been told to memorize it and to work on it as he had shown her. She rose from her seat in the top tier of the risers in classroom 3B, that was Mr. Meisner's room, walked to the playing area on the classroom floor. His chair and desk were off to the side at an angle, just beyond the front row of students. She took a moment to prepare. She looked up and began. Margaret was very emotional. She did the piece. She was full of feeling, but somehow she grew a little unfocused and rushed therefore becoming somewhat unclear. She finished. There was a long pause. Sandy spoke. He said, you remind me a little bit of a pianist who has a real feeling for the music, but you're playing your notes a little poorly. He then told her that she wasn't clear enough in whom she was speaking to, nor did he fully understand what she was doing, except getting very emotional. She nodded in agreement. Emotion, he said, in acting, can make something moving, but it doesn't necessarily make it any clearer. And you must be clear in what you're doing. He paused. Then he looked at her and said, let's try this. Let's say it's as if you were standing at the bottom of an abyss and you were crying out to someone, anyone, to come and rescue you. Do you follow that, he said? Yes. She took a moment. She began again. She was much clearer. She took her time, and she had the beginning of genuinely needing and doing something specific. But now, that authentic emotional connection was not as strong. She finished and looked a little disappointed. She waited for him to speak. He talked with her some more, and while speaking, I clearly remember him making a gesture, saying, it's as if you were trying to get them to help you, you're reaching out for help. She took his direction. She prepared again, did the piece a third time. Unfortunately, she forced the emotion a bit at the expense of what she was doing and grew tense. She was struggling. When it was over, Sandy said, okay, I think we got everything we could out of this for today. Go ahead and sit back down. Margaret was frustrated. But Meisner seemed calmly accepting of the now diminishing returns of her acting exercise. She returned to her seat in the top row of chairs and sat down. He began to discuss some part of our work, and then we all felt a rustling in the top back row of chairs. 
It was Margaret. She was upset. Meisner caught her eye and very quietly said, Margaret, begin your piece. She went to stand up and walk back to the classroom floor. No, Sandy said. Stay right there. Begin. She began the piece. She was very alive. She was pleading. She was deeply connected to something within. In a moment I will never forget, a few lines into the piece, as if Meisner were somehow connected to her very being, telepathically it seemed to me, and at the exact right moment from his desk, he told her, now stand up. She did. Everything seemed to come together. She was in vivid contact with something which only she could see and hear. Suddenly and spontaneously, Margaret reached outward to grasp for this unseen presence. It was the very gesture Miser had suggested earlier, but it now belonged to Margaret. It was very powerful. The piece came to a close. Margaret waited a brief moment at the end, as if waiting for her rescuers to come. They did not. She sat down slowly. She was spent. There was a silence. And then we did something that we never did in my time as a student at the neighborhood playhouse. We applauded her. <laughs> <laughs> Meisner let us. He was smiling. After a few seconds, he held up his hand saying, all right, all right, that's enough. But he was still smiling. He turned toward her. He looked satisfied. He took out a cigarette. I knew Mr. Meisner, this was true. Slowly lit it and exhaled. And then he sat back in his chair a little and said, okay, let's talk about this. Those words always meant that we were about to learn something very important. He looked at Margaret and a smile crept across his face. That was uh, pretty good, he said. <laughs> Do you know that? Yes, she said. Good. Do you know why it was pretty good? No, she said. <laughs> well, I do. You see, I told you to sit down, and you thought we were done, that it had ended. I tricked you. I'm a terrible person. <laughs> we all laughed. He could be very funny when he wanted to be and he had a real actor's comic timing. You see, he said, I took away the curtain of performance. Back in your seat, you were no longer being evaluated by me for critical purposes. And there, in that moment, you relaxed a little. And then you gained the most important thing you could gain as an actress. You found your freedom. That's why it was good. Do you follow, he asked. Yes, she said. With that, he looked at us and said, all right, class dismissed. Hmm. The struggle had been a success. That was acting class with Sanford Meisner. That is his legacy, and it lives on here every day at the Neighborhood Playhouse. Thank you.
provides the groundwork for the continuing history of the Neighborhood Playhouse School. So have a wonderful day. It's been great to be here.